Hey guys, welcome back to the Mama Mixer. I'm Sarah from Sensational Finds and today I'm going to give you a few tips on how you can get yourself and your kids ready and adjusted for starting school. Bobby is in his second year of preschool this year. He's going to be starting. So I'm going to share a few ideas that I'm going to be using for myself and my family in case you guys want to use them too to one, get us ready for school, and two, when we're starting school, to get everybody adjusted to the new schedule. I'm not sure if any of you guys are or your kids are, but my son is a creature of habit. He likes to have routine, and he does really well with structure and routine. Um, but during the summer months, our routine kind of went out the window. We are all over the place. We're going to bed at a different time. We're waking up. He always wakes up at the same time, but we're waking up at different times. Um, we're eating differently. We're playing differently. Everything is different during the summer. So the number one thing that I'm going to start doing is start adjusting his bedtime accordingly. So he normally goes to bed anywhere between 8 and 9 o'clock. Sometimes in the summer months, he's been staying up a little bit later. Sometimes he's been going to bed a little bit earlier. But I'm going to start every day trying to get him in bed earlier and earlier so that he can understand that he does have a bedtime and he just doesn't go to bed when he wants to. Whatever you want your routine to be start doing it now I really like to give him a bath before bed so bath in bed we normally do bath every other night so start doing that every single night and that's really important that you can consistently do it so if he is going to bed a little bit later every day I'm going to start putting him to bed a little bit earlier and letting him know hey it's getting close to bedtime and just start giving him the warning so that it's not as huge of a shock on the first day of school he's going to bed way earlier than he normally was and he will be adjusted to his routine the second thing that I'm going to do is start limiting his play on the iPad and video games. I have found that video games can really alter his mood. So when he goes to school, um, they don't like violence, they don't like hitting, they don't really like talking about weapons, and he really likes that kind of stuff. He likes karate and martial arts, and he likes all of that kind of stuff. So during the week, we are going to cut out the video games. On the weekends, if he was good all through the week, I will let him play the video games. Um, and during the week, after school, for a, only an hour, hour or so um, his iPad and he really likes to watch videos on, on his iPad he watches only YouTube and he really watches that more than cartoons so instead of him watching TV and the iPad I'm going to start limiting his iPad usage little by little so again it's not a drastic shock for him and whatever the amount of time you want it to be stick to that it's easy for me just to give him the iPad when I want him to entertain himself but I really have to try to pull back on that because I can see that it's like starting to be his main focus the number three thing that I'm going to start doing is consistently having dinner ready at a certain time we already do this but it's really good for our routine to have dinner bath and then bed so every night um, I make dinner and sometimes coming home from work can be a little bit stressful having to get dinner ready so I hope are having some freezer meal meal prepped meals ready for us to eat throughout the week and these can be easy simple meals regardless if I have the chicken already cooked if on Sunday I cook all of the chicken maybe it's just chicken breast and on Monday we have salad on Tuesday we have uh, something else that goes with the chicken that I made on Sunday or pasta make the pasta freeze it and then the, on that day that I want to have something ready for dinner I can just pop it in the oven or put it in the crock pot. Trying to think of easy, quick meals for the week is something that I have my fingers crossed to do this school year because by the time I get home from work, this is my first time working while he's in school, so I know it's going to be stressful. Um, so I'm going to try to have at least a running list of easy, quick, simple meals that he likes that we like as well. The next thing that I'm going to do is start snack prepping. So prepping snacks for him to have that he can self-serve himself. I'll show you guys in a video that I did in our fridge tour where I have prep snacks for him in the fridge. So regardless if I'm cutting up fruit or washing the grapes and putting them into little snack size bags, he can go in there and get himself a snack and be good to go. So our after school routine is going to be something that I'm working on too. When he comes home from school, the exact things that he does to get, you know, to get us prepared for after school. And one of those things will be the snacks. So he'll know where to get the snack, how to get it, what he wants, and I'll have them all easy and accessible to him so he doesn't have to worry about asking me Juice, juice boxes, water, all of that kind of stuff will be ready for him to go when he comes home from school so that if he does have homework, he can just come in, do his homework, have a snack, and then play or whatever he's going to do. 
For myself, I'm going to try to limit the after school stuff that I have for him to do. If I take him out right after school, he's probably going to be a nightmare. He's hungry, he's grouchy, they normally just wake up. So if I have to go to Target or have to go to the store, I'm going to try to do that before I go and pick him up, especially for like the first week or two while we're getting adjusted. So I'm going to try to finish everything that I need to do before I'm picking him up from school. The next thing that I'm going to do is start implementing the rewards chart. I did a video sharing how if he does his chores, he gets reward and this is just going to be added on to that where if he's behaving in school listening in school following directions in school he will get rewards so that school is exciting I've been trying to talk up school for like the past couple of weeks getting him ready and excited and of course with my son toys and bribery works really well it may not for yours but if I'm able to reward him after school with little things and again you guys know that I love the Dollar Tree maybe you're making them cookies or maybe you're going to make the cookies together with him after school things like that keep them interested and excited about going to school the following day like for the first week they may be okay but then when the second week and the fun wears off it's hard for them to realize hey I'm going to school every single day so if you continue that out for like maybe the first month or so just little treats and rewards maybe his favorite candy maybe his a new app that could be free and you're monitoring it things like that that don't have to cost a lot of money that can be rewarded for him behaving and being adjusted for school I think is going to be key for us having a good school year the final thing that I'm going to do differently this school year than I did the last is put him in an activity I hope to put him into karate or soccer or something and that would be implemented into our routine so some type of activity for him to do after school hopefully one or two days a week to keep him busy and active away from the iPad, away from the video games, and outside enjoying the fresh air, the fall weather, which is about to come. I hope to, that will really help with him getting acclimated. New friends from school, new friends from the sport, and it'll keep him in good spirits. So those are just some of the things that I plan on doing within the next couple of weeks to get Bobby ready for school and to get him acclimated to his new school schedule. What are you guys doing for your kids? I would love to know. Share in the comments down below. If you guys are new to the Mama Mixer, welcome. We put out new videos every Friday and we are coming back with our live hangouts every other Tuesday starting on the 25th. So make sure you hit that subscribe button because we would love to have you and we are just so excited to be back and hanging out with you guys live. Um, if you have any suggestions on what you want to see us talk about live leave them down below as well if you want to join us in a live conversation let us know below too as well thank you so much for watching guys we love you so very much and we'll see you in our next video bye guys